Okay guys, now we are cleaning this carburetor out. I've already gotten the bolt loose that holds this carburetor bolt on. And I want you to take a look at it. It looks like mud and it's orange. That's what was trying to uh, crank. So, what are we going to have to do? we got to clean the damn carburetor. Man, I think this is like the sixth carburetor I've cleaned this week. Thank God it's Sunday. Okay, I'm going to get all the stuff. We're going to pop this thing apart, clean it real quick. Um, see what we can do. More to come. Okay, guys. I skipped a few steps of recording what I was doing in the uh, video. But I pulled the carburetor apart, cleaned it out, put it back together, put fresh fuel in it, ran it through the line, ran it through the filter, and uh, collected it and disposed of it. And now I've hooked it back up. We're getting ready to put some fresh gas in here. I'm going to hook a battery up to it, and we're just going to see. I don't have good feelings about this motor. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll make 400 bucks. If I'm right, uh, I've got a frame. But we shall see. So, thing it could be especially with all this backfiring since I've adjusted the valves and everything it could be the keyway is partially sheared and that could be why I feel some slop as well so what I'm going to do I'm going to pop the uh, flywheel off and take a look at the keyway but that's going to be for another day uh, that valve cover gasket uh, if the motor is salvageable if that's all it is uh, the valve cover gasket is leaking already so I need to uh, put a new one on there and that's the one that we noticed when we were adjusting the valves. Um, hopefully the uh, noise and the popping that we're getting out of the carburetor is because of that flywheel key. Um, transmission's good. Cutting deck's good. Hopefully we can do something with it. If not, we'll put another motor on it. But that's it guys. Thanks for watching. More to come. Bye bye.